Hope you're doing good. Mike get back with another video. Back here to talk about iOS 18 Beta 2. And this is my follow-up video that I like to do about a week or so later. After running the software for a good period of time, I found some more features, some more nice little nuances that has been included with iOS 18 Beta 2 that we should see in the stable build for our iPhones. And the first thing I wanted to highlight with the iOS 18 Beta 2 with these more features is within the customization. So by pressing and holding right here, you see everything starts wiggling. Well, if I hit the edit button up here, we now have a new logo for that customize right there. And that just is a nice little subtle touch that Apple's adding to really show the difference between iOS 17 and the brand new iOS 18 update that we will be receiving. The next thing I want to talk about is if I hit customize, we know that we have dark mode icons. And as you see, some of them are here with the iPhone or with Apple's primary app icons. We're still waiting on third parties to jump on board, YouTube, Instagram. The nice part about those dark mode icons is now that they're kind of a vi kind of visible now in settings. And so when you're in dark mode in here as well, so, and voila, we're in dark mode. To show you guys that some of these icons will of now appear more dark. Now, I don't know if it's because I'm not officially in dark mode yet, but I've seen these icons appear darker. So maybe it's not completely widespread because as we see, the App Store does have a dark mode icon. They're supposed to show up here as well. So if I go into apps, maybe they pop up in the apps. It's not really looking like it. So it must be still a bug that might be we're experiencing with iOS 18 beta 2, but dark mode icons is now starting to pop up within the settings as well. Now, while we're in settings, I like to talk about messages and here's nice. The nice thing about messages, RCS is now starting to roll out for the iPhones. The compatibility with RCS and Android devices is now starting to roll out. And what's nice is I can show you guys that a little bit here. And what we can do is we're coming here to general. I have to click on general and go to about. And I'm going to show you guys right here in the carrier section where it says T-Mobile. If I click on it, you see it says voice, SMS, and RCS, showing that RCS is now available on the iPhone. And to also double back on that, if we come back down here to apps and we scroll down here to messages and we click on that, you'll also see in the settings itself, we have RCS as an option to toggle on and off for text messaging. I don't know who would try to toggle that off, but it's nice to see that RCS is in here. And I can show you guys this by going to my messages app and going over to me. And you guys will see right there, text message, RCS. So nice to see that Apple is now supporting RCS, which means we get better quality video and photo. We get text bubbles, we get red receipts, we get reactions. So shout out to Apple for supporting that. It would have been nice if they supported a higher standard of RCS for improved encryption and improved media trans transference. But, you know, it is what it is. Maybe they'll support it at another time. The other thing I noticed is that these icons down here, you see that red badge next to the settings. That icon, when swapping between, I think it's with swapping between dark mode and light mode icons. So if I do that, and I do that, and I do that, and you guys, you guys can see. I think it's when the background fades. Oh, it still hasn't done it. So I've noticed it with settings. I've noticed it with messages. The icon will not appear red, but it will appear kind of black and white. And I really actually like that aesthetic for the badge color and the badge icon because I think it really goes well with the new aesthetic of iOS 18. So hopefully Apple brings that. Hopefully that is something that they're actually trying to switch to and it's just buggy right now. But I have noticed that the messages icon will look different sometimes. Now, I don't know if it is a nighttime thing as opposed to like sleep mode or fo you know your focus sleep or something of that nature that may actually pop that up. But I did notice that we get different icons throughout iOS 18 beta 2. Now, if we go to the keyboard and settings, general, then I'm gonna go to, sorry guys, I don't know why my focus has been bouncy today. If you come in here, we'll see a new option in here for math notes. And right there, you see show math results right here. This has been added as a result of math notes, as a result of math being able to be part of the keyboard, math solving. And if you don't want it to be solved, you can turn it off. And I think if you have it turned it off, it will then ask you if you want to solve the equation. 
Now, I don't know if that just applies to Notes app or in general, but it is nice to see that you can turn this off if you didn't want it to be part of your keyboard typing experience. Now, swiping down to the control center, we, there's some new added kind of tweaks here. And one of the main tweaks is you can't just press the power button up here. The power button does not do anything up here at the top. So they've made two tweaks to the power button option in control center. A, you have to press and hold. Okay. You have to press and hold. And this is what activates the power button option. And now it's not just a button up here as well to hit the power off. You actually have to slide. You have the power button slider back. So it's nice to see that they added a couple precautions to the power button in terms of our control center so that we don't accidentally turn off our devices that is something that i have not quite noticed happening anymore in terms of ios beta 2 as well but we'll get more into bug bugs bugs fixes performance and stuff in a second we're going to finish with these features first and while in control center if i click on this box here you guys will get to see that the hotspot now has a slight different icon as well it's not on for me right now if i've turned it on you see it just turns green there's no slash through it anymore it's just uh chain linked uh icons to display hotspot if you jump back into settings and we come in here to siri oh it's right here the siri has a new description up here siri is an intelligent assistant that helps you find information and get things done this is a new description for siri in ios 18 beta 2 and to me this signifies us potentially seeing siri 2.0 or the official new siri with iOS 18 beta 3 and or public beta 1. I think that they're gonna finally roll out a le that, that level of Siri, even if it's still relatively bare bones, getting the new animation, getting the new Siri icon and the new Siri overall animation and some level of AI built in with Siri. I think we're gonna get some of that here very soon with them changing the description of Siri. Apple News was also fixed. Uh, as I had kind of told you guys before, if you jump into an article and you want to read it and then you swipe, it will not actually swipe you out here. So you were stuck in the article. You had to actually hit the, the back button to leave the article. Now you can swipe and get out of the article. Now, what they also fixed was that bug ended up kind of expanding. And if you clicked on an article and tried to escape, you could not escape the article. And as you see, they do still have this animation here, which is very nice where it kind of you know smoothly jumps back in place as the article jumps out off your fingers back into place so it did fix those bugs with apple music let's talk about apple podcast real quick apple podcast now allows you to scrub okay subscription connected okay cool nice so if i was to jump in here i think this show has yes this show does have chapters. So if I go ahead and start trying to scroll and scrub, you see that it will actually highlight the chapters for you if the podcast has chapters. And as you guys can see, if my blur jumps off of my thumb, you can scrub the entire way if you wanted to. And it gives you exactly what that title of that chapter is. So if you want to skip to it, you could and start it from, from the go. Now, of course, alternatively, if you wanted to, what I have found to, in order to reach the chapters is if you actually enter your queue, they have a drop down box for you if you didn't want to scrub. And right here, you can go ahead and actually skip through chapters if you want to. That's what I typically do. But I like you can now scrub the actual media player to find your chapters in podcasts. Now, let's talk about bugs. And one of the main bugs that I'm experiencing is, as I think I may have did it here. So let's see if I kind of jump back in. If I switch to light mode, you see the icons are still buggy. Home screen customization is still buggy between the first two um, betas that we've had for iOS 18. And so, you know, even switching to tinted, you know, it doesn't always switch back. So, and then it always defaults to darkening my background, which is not necessarily a problem to me uh, i don't know why it likes to do that it honestly doesn't look bad from time to time so maybe i'll keep it because it doesn't help your icons pop harder which is fine with me but that is a bug that we've been experiencing and i've also noticed that all the icon label or icons will just disappear and so sometimes one of my workarounds is i'll just hit this come back into customize and i'll swap my sizes so by swapping my sizes it will 
actually return to normal and this is exactly what I'm talking about right here that's what I'm talking about in terms of the badge count the badge count or right there the badge label is now black and white or kind of transparent translucent I like that a lot that looks so much better and you see it switched it down there so although I couldn't show you guys earlier through rigmarole on the uh, home screen customizations now revealed that that's an option and i hope that this is actually a steady option maybe for dark mode in general that would be very very nice because this looks so much more appealing than the red surprisingly in my honest humble opinion another bug we've been experiencing is as you guys saw in the settings the dark mode icons will not pop up here so that's interesting but also safari's media player so let's just jump into an article real quick i hit play shout out to android authority if i hit play and i want to and I actually wanted to check it out. You're supposed to be able to do that and pop it in the PIP or picture in picture, but that's not happening. And that's because it's still buggy. So the media player has some updates, but it is still buggy nonetheless. If I kept it in full screen mode, we do know we got the options to airplay. We have the settings button down here. And we get the general theme of the... Uh, Safari or Apple media player, which is very nice. You have your playback speed, your audio, you can show text. So you still have those features that are available, but in terms of being able to pop it into picture in picture, it is not happening as of right now with iOS beta 2. That is a major, major bug. And one of the things that also started working that people kind of thought, uh, which probably was a little buggy, but it just wasn't working, was tap to cache. And in order to get there, we're going to have to go into Apple Wallet. And once we enter wallet and you want to actually add a wallet, oh, well, that's the next feature. Let me uh, go ahead and where's my cash? So if I want to send requests, now all I got to do is hit tap the cash. And if I put in $3 and I hit next, I guess I have to choose somebody. Oh, I got to have the money in my account first. <clears throat> I don't have any money on this card, so I have to reload. But it will now show you the icon in order to tap the cash and it has that nice cool transition of sending the money to the other phone that is near the tap option and then if we hit plus and we want to add a card tap to provision has now been added so with debit cards especially if they have you know the wireless tap to pay you can now tap to provision the card so hold near card and it will absorb that information via the nfc and populate that information into here. You probably just have to verify the, CV, the CVV and your name, credentials, zip code type stuff. And then the card will be added to your wallet just like that. So very, very nice, dope feature. Being able to ease and alleviate having to type in numbers for the card where now if it's not taking a picture of it, you can actually just tap to it because technology has been advancing in that way for our everyday life essentials. And so those are the features that have been added to iOS 18 beta 2. And those are some of the bugs that I've experienced with iOS 18 beta 2 so far. Uh, performance wise, I think it has been better. It's getting a little warm to the touch now. And as you guys can see, oh, surprisingly, I'm still around 20 percent. I thought I would have lost some battery life, but I really didn't. So that's actually surprising that I didn't lose any battery life in the last 15 or so minutes. Uh, so that's very good. However, battery life has been inconsistent to say the least i don't think it's i think it's battery life is better than beta one but it's not really saying much because it is a beta and it's a developer beta so it's a lot going on a lot of bugs and it's just figuring itself out as it's waiting to be completed via more beta updates to continually stabilize the software and so that's what i've been experiencing so far in terms of performance things do seem smoother when things work they work very well it's just when they don't work, you just got to finagle it to get everything back to running normally. And so that's why I can say that beta two, to me, definitely worth it over beta one. Definitely looking forward to beta three uh, in terms of everything. Features, performance, battery life, stability, smoothness. Even though smoothness is here, we're still waiting for more of that Apple fluidity that we expect from Apple. And so that's my performance update there. That's my battery life update there. The bugs that I've, I've noticed that I've experienced. Uh, in terms of the flashlight, I never actually ex checked to see if this is easier to maneuver. Um, okay. 
So to me, it looks like they did actually improve being able to use the flashlight. I know it's blurred out right now, but it it that was fixed in beta 2 for sure. So if you guys remember, the flashlight was definitely a little bit buggy in terms of trying to operate it with the gestures and whatnot. So much more smooth, so much more responsive in terms of being able to adjust the flashlight with iOS 18 beta 2. So definitely can recommend this update to you guys uh, if you guys haven't already updated to it. And we could definitely look forward to beta 3 most likely dropping this coming week, which would be somewhere around June 8th, June or July 8th, July 9th for our devices, including the public beta. Now, because it's my first time running the developer beta, will I be able to switch over to the public beta? I will find out because right now the option is not available. The option may not be available because the public beta is not available. So we'll see because I'll probably jump over to the public beta once that's available and start running the software from there on my iPhone 15 Pro. So let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of iOS 18 so far, your favorite features, things that you're waiting on. You excited for the new Siri and Apple intelligence, the comment section is open for discussion. But again, as always, if you guys haven't already, make sure to connect the like button, subscribe, channel the notification, that's all free that was my video so you and i can sit back check see what's cracking and don't forget to hit that super things button down there by the like and dislike button catch having paypal and check out the channel for all the videos available to you that's a way to keep tech fresh and alive on this channel jermaine mike is signing out to the next video wait for